Hello everybody, my name is Mike Sims and I'm the fleet manager for MWI Pumps. And today we're going to be discussing our model construction dewatering pump, which is our RWP pumps. They come in four different sizes, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And we're going to discuss kind of what you need to be doing when you're operating this piece of equipment. On a pre-start up, uh, you're going to want to check all your fluids, make sure you got fuel, uh, check your oil levels, your coolant, and then the uh, reservoir bottle for the pump itself that supplies the oil to make sure the bearings are being lubricated. And then we'll get into the startup procedure of how to properly operate it, things to look for, how to troubleshoot if you have an issue. All right, so now when you're ready to operate this piece of equipment, um, we'll turn the key on. We want to power up the control panel. Control panel monitors the engines and, and the pump itself, but mostly the engine. Um, it's going to monitor the oil pressure, the coolant temperature, the battery voltage. It'll also give us a fuel burn uh, right here above when this engine's running. It'll tell us exactly how much fuel we're burning uh, while it's pumping. Um, you heard the noise running. That was the fuel pump kicking on. Uh, once everything powers up and everything looks good, you just turn the key like starting your car. And you start the so now under operation, it's direct drive. It's just speeding the pump up and slowing it down to the RPM setting that best suits your application. So the pump that we're using, or we're gonna be discussing today is our RWP model pump. Um, what it does is actually used to pull groundwater out down to a certain level based on the depth of the well points. Uh, for construction dewater and for so guys can dig and safely not run into water. This particular pump is a, our eight inch model, um, but every model comes with a, uh, a protection, a sensor that if the pump runs out of water, uh, it, will, it will shut the engine down so not to damage the pump. Uh, that is the sensor here. So we gotta make sure the wires don't get damaged because if any interruption, any of those wires get broke, that, that sensor will not work and the engine will not run. And then there's a reservoir bottle. Um, this is a hydraulic oil lubricated. This is in a chamber that lubricates the, the mechanical seals. And then there's a gearbox chamber uh, where it, it lubricates the, uh, the gears and the bearings that are inside the pump. The pump itself is made to operate at a, a maximum RPM uh, on the engine up to 1800 uh, with a gear reducer. It's 600 RPMs on the pump, um, but it pulls it pulls a volume of water based on the depth of the points. It's one inch per every foot. So if you got a 20 foot point, um, we should see about 20 inches of vacuum on the, on the vacuum gauge. Uh, anything over that, you create cavitation. Cavitation is where it's a disruption of the water going into the pump. And it, will, it could damage the pump over a period of time and that's not good for it. So our rule of thumb is uh, one, one inch pound per, per foot of point. And if you, set your gauges up or operate your pumps in that in that area uh, it'll operate trouble free okay service intervals for this pump under normal operating conditions or even extreme conditions we service our pumps every 300 hours so if this particular pump is on a job and it's being ran for many many weeks uh, our service team will come out and make sure that the fuel filters are being serviced the air filters being serviced and that's going to just ensure that there's no issues during normal operations of this piece of equipment. Uh, if it's something outside our area, uh, we do ask our customers to do the service on the, on the equipment. Um, other than that, it's simple. Every 300 hours, and uh, you should have no problems. On initial startup, we like to pre-fill the suction tank. That'll help with uh, ensure priming, that the prime of the pump is pretty instantaneously. It'll pull high vacuum on initial start. It gives it time for the pump to stay cool uh, until the points, uh, the vacuum pulls the water up out of the points and then supplies it to the pump. So we're gonna go ahead and start this pump up. Turn the key on, gonna let the fuel pump prime up. It's all automated, as soon as it starts, the pump's gonna start pumping and then I'll just speed up to the operating range and then uh, we'll monitor the vacuum gauge to make sure that uh, the points have primed up and that we're pulling a vacuum. Uh, we're gonna double check and make sure that all the systems are, are good to go, uh, no dashes. If there's any kind of dashes on any of these symbols, it could be an issue with a sensor. Uh, once we start it up, 
we will accelerate up to about 1450 on the RPMs and that's going to help us pull a prime and get the system up and pumping. Now the throttle up, these arrows up and down, is what we use to throttle the engine up and down. So we want to throttle up to about 15 or 1450. Each bump is about 30 RPMs. So there we're at 1450. Now we're going to watch the vacuum gauge and, and uh, pull the vacuum and start pumping water. Good rule of thumb is once you get it up and running, is walk it and listen. Seal up any of those little leaks. We use a product called Wellpoint Clay. It's just a regular clay, modeling clay. And now we're getting water. If you can look on this joint right here, you can see the water pulling up. I mean, it's kind of cloudy, but you can see we are pulling water up out of the points now into the header pipe, which will supply water to the pump. If these were 20 foot points, we'd see 20 inches. It'd be down to the 20 inch mark. But they're using a short point, so. Here's a little vacuum breaker to make sure we don't cavitate the pump. Sometimes you have to adjust that if it's pulling too much air, too much vacuum. In conclusion, MWI offers this pump in four different sizes in this particular model. They are six inch pumps, eight inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. Each pump is sized for the application of the job that you're doing. Feel free to contact any of our sales reps at our six locations throughout the state of Florida whether it's in Jacksonville, Orlando, Fort Myers, Tampa, Vero Beach, or Deerfield Beach. Someone will gladly help you with any questions you might have. Or you can reach us on the web at mwipump.com or contact us through our corporate number, which will be below at the bottom of this screen.